Lo que señalé esta mañana es que... What I marked today is that Nicolás Maduro's trip to Rome to see the Pope Francisco had nothing to do with dialogue. It's possible, if we link today's news, that Panama will give him asylum, as rumored. Panama could have made arrangements with the Vatican in order to receive Nicolas and offer him asylum in our country. Why do I say that? Because Nicolas and Juan Carlos Barella are close friends since they work together in the government. Also, Panama didn't support other countries four days ago at the OAS because it's waiting for a possible arrangement that ends with Nicolas in Panama. From my point of view, if Panama serves its purpose, I don't see any problem for Nicolas Maduro to come to Panama if it will help the governance of Venezuela. Panama played this role with the Asian crisis. When General Raul Cedras, who is still living in Panama, became a dictator, they made an arrangement and Cedras came to Panama. If it works, so many deaths will have been avoided in Venezuela, so they could have been avoided here in Panama. If Noriega had reached an agreement with the Americans to go into exile in Spain. Maduro feels tight, he feels prisoner by his environment, as Noriega felt prisoner by his environment too. If Maduro goes into exile, he will leave many people in the air, military, people like Tarek El Aizami or Diosdado Cabello, so he feels prisoner of these people, just like Noriega did. He wanted to leave the government, but people around him didn't want to let him go. So, look what happened, and take a look at what is at stake with Nicolás Maduro.